That is so good. Get up there rolling, get it near the pin. Perfect. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. G'day everyone and welcome back to another David Maxfield Golf video where today we have something really exciting and you've probably seen from the b-roll it is going to be the Tacoma wedges and the on-course review I mean how good when that focuses do those things look if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button right now it's going to be just down there only take a couple of seconds hit the like button leave a positive comment and smash that bell notification so you can see well, we're going to be putting out a whole lot more great content and there is so much more that's going to be coming that's also very exciting. Let's dive into it. The Tacoma wedges, are they good enough? Are they going to be able to get in your bag? Are they, what, are they practicing what they preach in terms of um, price, quality and performance? What I'm going to do is I've done this review a little bit differently. I've done it where I've gone on course and I've actually played three or four nine hole rounds on different days to really get a good feel of the wedges. I feel like sometimes with reviews, we can go and take the wedges on course, we can do a nine hole course vlog or something like that. We can tell you that they're great, but there's not really enough data or enough shots or, or enough analytics around the usability of the wedges to actually give a full accurate um, comparison and review. I've done it a little bit differently. I've had three rounds, nine hole rounds. I've used 52, 56 and 60. And I'm gonna show you the shots individually and uh, that's why you'll see me in different clothes on different days. But let's start with the 52 which is a gap wedge. Let's head straight to the first hole where I hit this actually consecutive um, three days in a row I hit the gap wedge there and just see how it performed. An easy 52 and if it flies I mean it flies but I've got an awkward stance so rather just that little bit more club kind of uphill so that'll increase the loft anyway. Struck that pretty well, that actually looks really good. Don't be long. Oh, that's great. That is perfect. What a shot. Good choice. 114 at the back is more like a pitching wedge, but we're gonna go 52. Just try and close it down a little, get it right back there. See if we can stretch the distance out a little. Hit that pretty clean, got ball first. Oh, look at that. We are back there again with a birdie putt. So there's quite a big differ because I closed the face down and really jammed on it, but it got the distance, got the accuracy. Perfect. Alrighty, so the gap wedge, obviously awesome. Like just ticked every box for me. Um, but let's just see what Tacoma was saying about the wedges and see if we were able to do that. And if you see me looking down, I'm going to be looking down at what's up on screen. S20C forged. Okay, so the Skyforger wedges are forged from S20C carbon steel with progressive tapered blade thickness and are designed for players who are always looking to control, to control their trajectory. Now you would have seen in the three shots that I hit there, I actually hit three different trajectories. I hit three different windows. One that was out of the rough, there was one which I was hitting it into the wind and I really needed to get it back there. It was like 115 meters, which is a stretch for me for a gap wedge. Um, and then there was one in the fairway, about 100, which is just a stock shot. Every single one of those came off perfectly. I was able to control the flight, control the trajectory, pierce the wind, get it to stop and spin. That just ticked every single box for me, as well as how easy it was to use and also the look. So gap wedge, massive tick. Now let's get onto the 56. The 56 I play a little bit differently. So I probably use the 56 for the majority of my shots inside 75 meters. I use the 56 for pretty much everything. So let's check out the 56 and see some of those shots. All right guys, so you can't really see, but we do actually have a little bit of distance to the pin there. So I was gonna go 60, I got a 56 in hand. That was a good shot, but I got probably four or five feet, I think, left apart. So let's get this going. 56 degree. Tacoma wedge. Let's get this close. It's going to be a low, low runner. That's pretty good. That's acceptable. I'm going to go 56 again. This is 
really grabby kind of grass. So we've got the Tacoma 56. Again, it's gonna be so hard to hold it on these greens. They're like, even though it's been raining, they're rock hard. So just get it on there, just anywhere on there. That is so good. That is so, oh my goodness. Yes, that is. Yeah, so my ball landed in that puddle and it's rolled there. So I think we might be good to play it from there. Hopefully it's not too wet. I'll tell you one thing, I am giving these to come out wedges a good thorough test. If you can't hear this, I'm standing in water. I could move it, but there's really nowhere to move it to. This is all water. So, I'm just gonna have to hit down, try and get the ball first, get it somewhere close. That's a really good, I mean, from what I'm standing in, that's a great shot. This is, I think what's actually surprising me with these wedges today is that it's coming out a lot cleaner than what I would have expected. I'm expecting it to kind of get caught up and grab, but they're not. They're just super, super easy to hit out of those situations. Got it. Beautiful. Pretty good results there again. Let's check out what the Tacoma is saying more about these wedges. They have a soft feel, versatility, precision. So high lofts have more weight as a top blade to promote more spin and better control, while lower lofts have more weight at the bottom of the blade to make full shots easier to execute. When we're talking about the full shots, um, I don't think there was any 56 full shots there, but there was definitely some, some shots which were in tricky positions. So I've got shots where I'm in the rough and there's a bit of rough behind my ball. It's not necessarily a 60 because I could have just, I could have got it heavy. So I went to 56, I was short sighted. I was able to get in under that rough, get the ball up in the air and stop on the green. So that thing out of the bunker is absolutely amazing. It literally feels like your best friend. It just goes through the bunker so easily, gets the ball so clean um, and sits and stops incredibly well. Let's check out the 60 now. Now the 60 is, is really a, quite a new addition to me personally in my bag. So I've had 60s before, but then I've also had quite a period of time where I haven't used one. In fact, for quite a long time, I used just a 56 only. Uh, and then I went to a 52, 58 in my Vokis, which these have actually replaced. So I haven't had a, 50, a 60 degree log wedge in my bag for probably almost two years. Put it in the bag now, and I just feel that it gives me different options around the greens and, and what I can do. So let's check out some of these shots. All right, gonna be hitting from just off the back here. So I got a 60 degree little log wedge. Get close, get close, what a shot. Nice, into the grain as well. No problem there. Now we've got the lob wedge, the Tacoma 60. Okay, this is what we got ahead of us. So we basically got, it's gonna be like a little trap 60, almost like a trap draw 60. Get it low, get it in there, land it just on the top of that hill and get it to stop. That is perfect. Honestly, that was so good. Trapped it, landed it on the hill, stopped. Got it, 30. All right guys, so we have a cheeky little pin just over there, which is the 18th green now. I'm gonna be a little bit sneaky here. I'm gonna pin this green, it's 41 meters. Okay, that was no good. Oh, that's right next to the hole. Let's go one more. First one was no good, but that was me. Operator error. Last one. Perfect distance. So the, I'll fix those, don't worry. I'll go get some sand to fix those holes. Alrighty, so pretty awesome there, hey? Um, that first one that I, that I hit off that side hill kind of lie there that was right next to the bunker that I needed it to hit the bank and check and stop, that was just awesome. Like it did exactly what I was trying to do. Um, and I didn't actually use the 60 that much on course over um, those three days, which is why I went to the practice screen and I hit some from around about 40 meters. Um, so that 40 meter shot there, first one unfortunately was just operator error. Um, but then the next two, which was a tricky shot, that's actually down grain into that green. So it's going down grain, it's still able to spin and check and stop, 
and get them close to the pin, which again is really, really awesome. One thing that I look for more than anything within, within any of the wedges is I need to be able to hit them straight. And I know that sounds silly, but I've had wedges in the past where I really do struggle to hit them straight. I could either block them right or I could pull them too much. So I need to make sure that as I'm setting up and as I'm feeling comfortable, that I can hit the wedges straight. Distance is actually secondary. I can, I can adjust the distance backwards and forwards with a lot of wedges. And then with the lob wedges and the, and the 56 degree, that is so versatile, like this thing. So that can lay basically completely flat as a 60 degree. And you can really open and pan that face not going to do it but anyway you can pan the face right up until it's flat and you don't see that I, I do not like seeing a leading edge in the middle of the ball when I'm, before I hit it um, I know some people are cool with that I'm not I like to be able to see that it's flat and it's going to go under the ball and I'm not going to thin it and one of my favorite parts is the design of the face where you've got toe relief here and you've also got heel relief so it's almost like a small arc at the bottom of the wedge that's going to tell me that I, I'm not going to hit the heel or, or dump the heel into the ground around the greens for those small chip shots. Okay, so what are my overall thoughts? Now, I know that um, I've taken on these wedges and they've replaced my, replaced my Vokies and I really, really love them. This is the last review on the wedges I'm going to be doing and then we're just going to be playing course vlogs and we've got a whole lot of other stuff coming as well, including sneak peek, those guys. So. Um, if you watch to this, this stage of the video, then you get the first clue that that is gonna be coming up very, very soon. I am extremely happy with everything. KBS shafts, the works, like they are premium in every area. And if, is there any negative? Now I'm trying not to, I'm trying to do this re review as completely honest and, and, and bias free as possible, but these wedges are insane. They are incredible, they are really, really good, and I'm really trying to not oversell the wedges, but it's hard because I'm trying to think, is there anything that's negative about them that I haven't said? And there really, really isn't. They are just amazing and phenomenal wedges, and you can get them at a great price. So why not save some cash, put it in your pocket, grab some Tacoma wedges, start playing some premium gear, and watch your scores drop. Anyway, thanks guys, hope you loved the video. If you got any questions, throw them in the comments and I'll happily answer them. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, leave a positive comment, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.